it's me Cynthia right now dude it's just so crazy out right now today is Friday the 13th happy Friday the 13th it is completely overcast the entire city uh, it is raining it has been raining for days and days and days and now the entire city is covered in fog like it's gonna snow but it's warm out so it's just really awesome right now it is as I drive by my cemetery Hello. so right now I'm leaving my house so early well 10 minutes early holy crap for 6 45 in the morning listen to all that traffic it's like a mass exodus right now you guys I don't know what's going on I do not know what's going on. I'm a little bit scared right now. Funny thing, and bloop, you can't even see my mountains. It is crazy. Okay, that's just the weather, all right? Then, I'm leaving. Why are these people driving like it's the actual apocalypse? These people are driving like we're out driving the atomic bomb hitting. Come on, calm down everybody. Anyway, I am going to Walmart. I'm not getting water and toilet paper. I need dog food. So I'm gonna get two bags of dog food. And I'm not gonna tell Mark, because Mark does not believe on stocking up on things. He says, yes I do. No, he doesn't. Whenever I need extra salt, you're, you still have salt. Why are you getting extra salt? He's one of those people. So I can't tell him I buy extra things. I'm buying extra things. So I'm getting uh, two bags of dog food. I'm running low on salt. I bought a, an extra bag of sugar about a month ago that I haven't ripped into. I have a box of candles. I have a box of candles that I got in like 2009 in a thrift store thrift store haul with you guys. It's that big bag of candles, like 20 candles. Just in case, I mean, I don't think that everyone's going to get so sick that they can't work at the power company and keep the powers on. I don't think it's that kind of apocalypse, but I think it's going to be the kind of apocalypse that um, everybody's on lockdown and starts going crazy and cutting off each other's power so they can take each other's stuff. That kind of crazy. <laughs> that kind of crazy. You know, the regular movie stuff. So, unless that's the way my brain works and I'm thinking of cutting off other people's power, I don't think so. I'm not a taker. I'm a defender. And the guy behind me needs to calm the hell down. I'm early enough to work, and uh, but I wanted to go to Walmart. And that's okay if I don't make it right now I can always make it at lunch and there's this excited excited energy around work because there's a probability that we might get shut down I have my emergency fund just like we're supposed to have and no it's not uh, I don't make a lot of money I just don't spend my money and when I say I don't spend my money when you guys see me do um, all the yarn that I have purchased in the past three or four years, I have posted on YouTube. So, now you can physically see how much yarn I have purchased in the past two to three years, because I don't buy yarn between those hauls. So, I've stopped. I stopped 85% of my yarn purchasing and all of my thrift store purchasing. I haven't done a thrift store haul in like two years. So um, maybe last year I did one last summer. I don't know. I posted it on YouTube. So I'm not doing anything extra in my life. All I'm doing in my life between posting videos is crocheting. I'm just crocheting my little heart out. Like I made that uh, Krampus sweater. Or, 
for Christmas. I'm making a spring sweater right now. And um, yeah, I'm just constantly, constantly crocheting. The only new thing I picked up lately is leather work. Because I want to make a big giant witchy book for my sister. And I made videos about that and I haven't posted anything because I can't stand editing anymore. I will be getting dog food and candy for Mark because if I'm going to be locked up in the house with him, he needs candy because he drives me insane. I'm basically going to be getting things for my five-year-old husband named Mark. Things to keep him quiet. Uh, he doesn't have any hobbies, so I'm not going to have anything for him to do if we're in quarantine. Uh, we can play Rummy. But there are only so many times we can play Rummy. We do have Scrabble Deluxe. And, uh, we'll have that. And Rummy. Maybe I could convince him to start reading books. And also, I'm not even kidding. I have to hide my, uh, books that I want to keep in case... In case things go down and like the the heating the gas goes out or something I don't know and we need to start burning my books for um, <coughs> for heat even though summer is coming I'm preparing for the winter I need to hide my Eric Henry Vick books so they don't get used for fuel because those are uh, my my apocalypse books so I need candy dog food, um, a few more bags of beans, and rice. Beans and rice are going to keep us, keep us going. Because as long as I have, uh, I might get some packs of seeds, just in case the stores are closed through the summer, I can start, um, even though the food would not be ripe this year, they would be ripe next year. I like to smell good. And I like to smell like nature, but not natural. I don't want to stink. So, I've been using, whoa, the freeway is flooding. I can't even see, it's all right. It's all right, it's all good. I have all of these essential oils, and uh, I've been using men's deodorant, because men's deodorant smells like the forest. So I switched to degree, degree men's. And uh, it's been working fine. I have, but in the in the summertime, I do use a female, a feminine, um, a feminine deodorant because it's a, a little bit stronger because I sweat. So what I've been doing, using one drop, less than a drop, I just uh, shake it out a little bit and then just rub the top of the oil container and then get my lotion that has no no flavor in it and that's my new lotion because I use I have all these essential oils and Mark does not like the smell of essential oils he only likes lemon and peppermint and I have all of these I have rosemary and sage and I have all sorts of stuff so I've been smelling like concentrated essential oils lately and I think I need to stop doing that because it's giving me a headache I smell myself all day long. But what I do find when I um, when I wash my hair, I wash my hair twice a week. If I just don't wash the conditioner out all the way, um, my hair smells really good. What the hell is that? Is a a chicken truck? That is a chicken truck. Oh my God, it's full of live chickens. I've never seen that before in my life. I just saw something I've never seen before in my life. Wow, it's a semi of live chickens. Okay, let me explain to you what I just saw. A semi truck, and instead of having walls on the sides, the sides were open and it was like hundreds of chickens in their own little cages, just laying there, blowing in the wind. All right, poor little babies, they're gonna get eaten. They're driving to their death, they think they're having fun, they think they're on a cruise ship. Be 
people are gonna eat them, and I can uh, say that because I don't eat meat anymore. I'm not vegan, but I don't eat meat anymore, except for fish. So I'm a pescatarian, I guess. Uh, whatever that is, a pescatarian. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever it is, I only eat fish, beans, rice. Uh, yeah. And by fish, I mean like. Uh, I just in case I mean this is apocalyptic time I'm taking all my plans from work home just in case they decide to not open back up on Monday so um, yeah I have plenty of plant food and um, yeah we're gonna be okay also I think uh, what else could we possibly need? We don't need water because the utilities are not going to get turned off. Italy is shut down and they're letting people in factories and utilities work. So, nothing is getting shut off. We don't need water. And Mark and I are just two bums. We have two bums. So we don't need extra toilet paper. 6.15. I'm gonna go shopping. Bye. And boy has today been insane. I started off this morning. Mark left our bedroom door open. Dublin's been pooping all over the place. That is why I keep my door closed. Alright, he didn't poop in here, but he did poop in the living room. Alright. So, uh, I got to work. After, after I went to Walmart, and uh, I gotta get whatever I got out of the trunk. Um, I went, I went to work, and I got all the updates. Everybody has their phone on. It is exciting, or uh, it's pure excitement. It's a morbid excitement, if that makes sense, and. Uh, I don't have to explain it because everyone around the world is going through the same exact thing. So, I can say it and everyone will know what I'm talking about. Ooh. I didn't get a whole lot. I only spent like 38 bucks. Um, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I just wanted to uh, get to work so I don't get fired before we get laid off. I have to leave some stuff in the trunk okay and this this is why first of all because mark will eat everything if we're in quarantine and mark knows i got goodies and stuff he will eat everything in one go so i have to be able to hide it and um show him bit by bit like what i got him so he doesn't eat it all in one go this is my apocalypse haul so weird but i just closed the window so uh, people couldn't see what I got. All right, I got some tuna in water. I didn't grab so many. Well, I grabbed two, four, six, six of those. I got a salt, it is not iodized, is it? This salt does not supply iodine. So just regular salt. All the iodized salt was gone. I got one of these, because I love it. All of the rice was gone, but the fancy rice was there. So I paid $6 for this, and it's sushi rice. Rice is rice, right? Uh, then these were just too cute to pass up. <laughs> too cute to pass up. They were 50 cents each. So a dollar for all of this. Mark's gonna be like, why did you even buy that? Ugh. Uh, I got, okay, because I am a realist, and things can happen, and we, like, cuts and stuff. If the hospitals are overwhelmed, we're going to have to take care of ourselves, right? Right, 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 right. An onion. Because, because of all the, um, okay, I couldn't, these, you have to have good food when you're in the apocalypse. So I don't know where to hide these. I think I'm gonna hide them right there. 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 Hide them right
up there. Mark doesn't look up there. And then uh, I got Mark some Mega Stuck Oreos. And put those up there. Uh, for protein, I don't eat meat, but I might have to start again. Uh, I got just some beef jerky. And again, he can't have that because he'll eat it all in one sitting. Uh, baby lima beans. I don't know why I only got one bag. There was a whole box of them. There was, it was this, these, and this. This was all that was left of all the beans on the shelf at Super Walmart. So I could have had my fill. I could have filled my cart with these, but I didn't. I got one of each because I, I want to leave some for others. Mark can have some jelly beans. He can have them now. This isn't for the apocalypse. This is just for me because I love plants so much. Um, it's fresh basil. So uh, maybe I can keep this one alive. My other one that I had was way more beautiful, but um, I overwatered it and killed it. Um, and then last but not least, some chips. Because the apocalypse is boring without chips. And that's all my food. I didn't get too much. I didn't get enough. Uh, I don't have dog food. Um, so I don't know what we're gonna do about that. We might go on, I almost, I almost said this. I would have been very confused. Um, I might have to go online to Chewy.com and uh, place an order for two bags right now. Um, but I think we're gonna drive around to the supermarkets because we're fun like that and it's Friday night, so why not? And uh, we're gonna see what we can purchase. Hopefully by the time you see this, all of this will be over. All right, well, I'm gonna go feed my dogs with the rest of their food. <laughs> and uh, hope we can find more food for them tonight. I forgot to show you guys my plant that uh, I decided that uh, just in case um, Las Vegas gets shut down, I would bring my plants home. So I have my Aurelia. I don't know. Um, this is the healthy baby version of this plant that I've had for like five years. That's not, uh, let's see, this one is humongous. Well, it looks bigger because it's in that pot. But still, it stands about three feet tall by itself. They get six feet tall. Um, I have new babies here because uh, they like to eat it. And they, yeah, they love to eat this plant. And um, yeah, that's why they're naked because they've been eating it. So they, this has been locked in this room so I can get lots of sun and not be eaten by my dogs. And uh, it is growing like crazy. I mean, this is so old that the plant, the leaves are as big as my hand, the old leaves. But a lot of them have fallen off because uh, I've been, I've over watered this for like two years. And then I didn't figure that out till it was almost dead. It's got this at Walmart, it's the basil. It's my uh, Valentine's Day mini rose bush. Uh, this, okay, this is from Barbara, the lady that gave me the most beautiful shawl in the world. Uh, she gave me that plant and she crocheted this little mat with a spoon and a fork. Is that the, not the cutest thing you ever saw in your life? So uh, this is a jade plant and it's been on my desk for about two months and uh, it's never seen the sunlight. And same with this little feller. This is mine. I bought them for myself a few months ago at Lowe's and it has also lived in the office the whole time and never have seen, has seen the light of the sun. So, uh, this one is living, well, as of today, um, in my pepper plant, in my pepper plant. And I'm getting new growth on this. So that little jade plant will keep that. Okay, uh, I guess uh, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful everything, and perhaps I will see you on another day. Bye.